one of the typical Easter foods in many Slavic countries, is the Easter Pascha. It's a quag-based dessert filled to the brim with dried fruit. While typically served chilled, I'm making a frozen variant that I eat like ice cream. The full recipe is on the blog. The main ingredient is quark. Mine is homemade, but store-bought is fine too. I'll also be using caster sugar, soft butter, vanilla, a variety of dried fruit, eggs and sweet cream. I start by preparing the dried fruit. I need to slice them. The choice of ingredients is an individual preference, and pretty much any fruit and nuts can be used as long as they're not salty. I'd avoid figs due to their seeds, but anything else is probably fine. I'm using dried apricots, raisins, dried cranberries, candied pineapple, toasted hazelnuts, unsalted pistachios and almonds. separate the yolks from the whites. I'm not going to use the whites in this recipe. I'll turn them into a batch of meringues. I add sugar to the yolks. I combine them using an electric hand beater. Then I add the cream and continue beating until smooth. The next step is heating the mixture. I want to get it as hot as possible without cooking the yolks. They coagulate at 65 degrees Celsius, that's 149 degrees Fahrenheit, so I kill the heat a few degrees below that. The water bath ensures a gentle and even heat distribution. Still, I need to mix constantly, otherwise the yolks might cook near the bottom. I use a pyrometer to check the temperature, but a regular thermometer will do just fine. Some people can estimate the temperature by simply dipping a finger in the mixture. The egg mixture is hot enough. It's time to add the remaining ingredients. First, I mix in the butter. It's a good idea to pass the quark through a potato press or a meat grinder to get rid of the lumps. Finally, I add the dried fruit. Once everything is mixed, I can proceed to fill the containers. 
I'm using baking tins lined with cling film. This way I'll be able to remove the frozen pascha from the tin easily when the time comes to serve it. Here it is, frozen solid. As I've already mentioned, this dessert is not typically served this way, and it's enough to chill it. I find the frozen version more enjoyable. so tasty. It's just like ice cream but it doesn't melt as easily. The nuts and dried fruit provide different textures and a variety of flavours. Perfection.